Hello and welcome to our video regarding S Voice on the new Samsung Galaxy S3 versus the new and updated Siri on the brand new iPhone 5. So firstly we're just going to look at how you get to S Voice and Siri. For S Voice you actually need to um, unlock the phone, go onto your app screens and then S Voice, you have to actually click on S Voice as an app. The first thing, oh, and on the uh, iPhone, obviously, you just go like this. Hold it down, or now you can just simply, if you just uh, look here, you just pick it up and put it to your ear, and you can talk to it that way. But obviously, we won't be talking to it like that today. So, firstly, I'm just going to say hello to both of them. Hello? So uh, S3 replies, hello back, and uh, iPhone 5 Siri replies, hi there, and then your name. I'm going to now ask him what the weather's like today, a common question. First, S voice. What's the weather like today? Taking quite a while to load. A couple of showers today. The current temperature is 8 degrees. The voice on the um, S3 isn't as good and as high quality as the voice on the iPhone 5, which says the iPhone 5 the same question. What's the weather like today? Don't forget your raincoat. So the iPhone 5 providing you with, I would say, a fairly more human response and it was also an awful lot quicker than giving you the forecast, um, an hourly forecast, which I would say is more useful then the um, S3. Now we're going to send a text message. So firstly on this one. Send a message to Cameron. Let's see if this does work. Unfortunately, I couldn't find Cameron in your contacts. Who do you want to message? My brother. Um, as you see, it is... What's your message? Hi, I sent this while testing S-Voice on the new Samsung Galaxy. Oh, it did cut me off there. I hadn't even... Here is your message. Speaking. Ready to send it. Send. So it didn't totally get what I was Sending saying. Sending message. It cut me off early. The message has been sent. But let's see if the uh, iPhone okay, 5 I sent it. any better. And now that thing won't shut up. Okay. Send a message to Brett. Taking quite Okay, I can send a text to Brett for you. What would you like it to say? Hi, I sent this message while testing Siri on the iPhone 5. I updated your message. Ready to send it? Send. So as okay, you can see, that, I'll was, send it. that was really fast, a lot quicker than S Voice, and uh, it got nearly all of it accurately and did not cut me off. The next thing we're going to ask it, we're going to see if it has some humour. Here's the messages coming through on this one, just there. Now let's see if this phone did receive that message. Do I have any new text messages? So, um, S Voice cannot tell you about text text messages. Do I have any new text messages? You have a message from Brett. Hi, I sent this while testing S Voice on the. So the iPhone five. You can reply or read it again. Cancel. So, um, as you can see, S Voice cannot do that, and the iPhone five can. Some, uh, Dibs up for that. Now I'm going to ask it a humorous question. Will you marry me? And we'll see what they both have to say. Will you marry me? That's sweet. Give me some time to think. So, I'll be honest, I don't like the S voice's actual voice. I find it. It's not very slick. Whereas Siri... Will you marry me? Cameron, I don't understand. 
Will you marry me? You have a message from Brett. So Siri is sort of uh, failing, failing there a bit, thinking I'm referring to the previous uh, message to Siri. I'll ask him again. Siri, will you marry me? I'm not the marrying kind, Cameron. So there you go, fairly humorous response. We'll do one more humorous thing. We'll just ask her, tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. What was the question? Tell me a joke. To be honest, I'm not actually that good at pronouncing joke. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little booby in it. <laughs> that is a pretty bad joke. <laughs> but because it's so bad, it's actually quite funny. <laughs> okay, now we'll ask the iPhone 5. Tell me a joke. <laughs> Let me think. Nope, can't think of one. <laughs> now on the iPhone 5, I have asked it to tell me a joke many times, and it always uh, says, how many are, like, tell me a joke. It always says, like, I forget the punchline. What did one iPhone say to the other iPhone? I used to know this one. So it always ends its little jokes about iPhones um, with that. I love you, Siri. Anyway. Is that why you're holding me tight? It's very nice. Uh, we're just going to do one final little test. We're going to try and post to Facebook using the phones. Uh, you, the iPhone 5 has been updated to do this, and you can do it on the Samsung Galaxy S3 now as well, but let's see how easy it is. Post to Facebook. What would you like to say? I did not understand. Please okay. repeat your request. I'm just going to say on this as well, and then I'll say the thing at the same time to make sure it is a fair test. Post to Facebook. So, what should I post to Facebook? What would you like to say? What is better, the iPhone 5's Siri or the Samsung Galaxy S3's S Voice. Say update. Cancel or speak something new. So there we go. It says, why is the iPhone 5 Siri for the... It didn't really get it uh, properly. The iPhone 5 did screw up. As I it... updated your Facebook status. What is better, the iPhone Ready 5 to it. is Siri... Or the Samsung Galaxy 3 S Voice setup. So um, I'd say they both fed about the same on that. Now I'm just gonna op open up Facebook. Itself. Open Facebook. So this is opening an app. Let's see if we can actually open the app. I didn't catch that. Please try again. Open Facebook. Say update. Cancel or speak something new. So the S voice got confused and it's really annoying voice again. Open Facebook. Which app would you like to use? Facebook. So it does it if you want to schedule a meeting, you can just say I'll say it to S voice first. Schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Say update. Cancel or speak something new. Okay, okay. cancelled. Schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 9am. So it is really annoying how they get confused over previous messages that you've sent them. Here we go, it's picked it up. Here is your appointment. Should I put it in? Yeah, so there we go, it's that easy. Now I'll just do it on the uh, iPhone. I'm saving episode. your appointment. Okay, whatever, I don't really care. You've already told me. Okay, I saved it to your calendar. Really, really annoying. If you saw the look on my face, I'm extremely angry at S voice. Schedule a meeting for 9 a.m. tomorrow. It doesn't look like you have an app named Schedule a Meeting. Oh, once again, it's referring to the previous post. This is a problem with both Apple and uh, the Android. And the Android. I do. And the Android version. We're asking now. Schedule a meeting for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, there we go. It's uh, scheduled the meeting. Just 
tap Your yes, we'll say yes, and the event is now scheduled. So overall, what is better, the Samsung Galaxy S3 or the iPhone 5 Siri? This iPhone 5 has actually just picked it up. Can we just uh, look at that? Look at that. What is better, the Samsung Galaxy S3? Just pick that up as I was talking. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, so, uh, oh, stupid S3. The iPhone 5 is my one, the S3 is my brother's, so I am a bit biased at the iPhone. But if 5. you did have the S3 in your hand, it would see you were still looking at the screen and not turn off. Oh, anyway, some stupid feature where those two little cameras see your eyes. But anyway, we're going to give the Samsung Galaxy S Voice 6 out of 10. It's only 6 out of 10, whereas we're going to give Siri a 9 out of 10. So overall, Siri has won this by far purely because just listen to the S3's voice, okay? Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. It's just really annoying. It can't do as many things that the iPhone 5 can do. It's a complete copy. And to even get onto the app, you have to go into your apps and then you need to find the S voice and click on it. Hi, Galaxy, and all of that. I don't like it. Whereas the iPhone 5, it's simple. You either hold it down or pick it up to your ear. It picks up nearly everything you say perfectly. Um, better with no background noise. So 9 out of 10 for the iPhone 5 overall. Our winner is the brand new iPhone 5 from Apple. I'm very sorry, Samsung. But even though uh, Apple, yeah, Apple have won the legal battle over S Voice and Siri, and now they've won the Android Apple review battle as well. So uh, make sure you subscribe for more updates on the iPhone 5. Oh yeah, look at it, brand new. Hundreds and hundreds of pounds we've got a hand on it, as well as the new Samsung sort of new S3 hundreds hundred of pounds and we have our hands on it for the launch of this channel. Please subscribe for many more videos. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Stay in chat. Stay in chat. I don't know even know if the poor little Siri heard me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.